Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Sword Fighter Simulator. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over corruptions and the best method to farming them. Now I currently have 74 corruption shards, but by the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys me having roughly around 200 or around that, just off of one wave or two waves of corruptions happening. Now currently a blood moon just happened. Well didn't spawn but like the time for the event failed you still have a 50 percent chance i think even after a blood moon to get a corruption i'm not completely sure on that it has happened before i don't know if they fixed that but i'm going to be going over why you should be having multiple accounts running in vip servers with the ults or just in public servers um that you think no one would be farming corruptions in now the reason behind this is when you, since corruptions are all synchronized you're able to have multiple, um, I guess, corruptions of your own, killing all of those mobs and collecting them yourself. And another tip for you is if you are watching Sisters Guard's video uh, on where the enchant merchant spawns, uh, when you are in need of that, make sure to watch your video since it will explain, uh, you know, where those merchants are in case you are trying to look for that. Um, but besides that, the reason you want to do VIP servers and all that is basically for the fact that you could gather more than 20 per wave that happens in corruption i've gathered roughly 60 to like a hundred per wave and uh, i've used those so far to put these enchants on these swords as you guys have seen in my previous video and i've left off on 74 but i advise you guys to do this because in this upcoming update um i'm sort of guessing corruption uh shards are going to be a main thing people do like they did this wave where they put like their god enchants, etc. Transferring over, which big tip, when you guys are farming arcane shards, which I barely have a hundred, you do always want to enchant your gray swords. Um, you don't want to, you know, enchant your secrets trying to be like, oh, I'm going to get something insane. No, you're not. You're going to waste it. And then you're going to have nothing to do it. You're going to have to wait for raids to spawn. You want to keep going on your gray swords until you have a possible crazy enchant role like god which unlike unlike me it hasn't happened yet and i've been through at least 2000 arcane shards i haven't seen god once you know and then i'm religious you know that's making me question uh but besides that uh you basically want to do that guys stop wasting your arcane shards definitely get that um you know a little tactic going and yeah, you just want to server hop, which I will be showing you guys server hopping through my VIP servers and then showing you guys what I end up on from going to 74 to possibly around 200 or close to that amount. And I'll skip over to you guys once we have a corruption and I go through my other servers and be right back. All right, guys, now that a corruption has appeared, I did go ahead and do some corruptions. Um, and I guess not some corruptions. I mean, I, I went ahead and collected shards in the server, but I sadly didn't get all of them because other people were in the server. I only got four from this run, but I'm going to switch over to my other servers that I have open and go into those and show you guys me taking them all out and seeing how much, I guess, shards I get from that in total. So I'll skip to you guys once I'm in my first uh, server and then show you the other servers. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we have teleported and it is another sacred land server. Uh, so I luckily love this because this one has a lot of stuff. We're going to turn our auto swing on. And while I was actually doing the blood moon while waiting for this corruption, guys, I actually got the Hermes wing and holy, these things are magnificent. As we all know, I was on literally like the Santa sleigh for such a long period of time. It, it was so annoying having to be that slow. I mean, it used to be so fast, but now I even have these Herme Hermes wings and uh, I just love them, you know, it would run dungeons way faster now, which guys keep in mind, I will be live doing dungeons, uh, probably right after this video is posted, if anything. So come join me. They will be 36 carries, hopefully, because I do have a friend that is strong enough. So go over there, check it out. I'll be doing some other stuff as well. Uh, maybe a giveaway. I don't know. But yeah, besides that, let's see. We've taken mostly everything out here. I think I actually missed an AI all the way back in that corner. I don't know exactly. Let's see. I got that shard. Got this shard. Can't forget all the shards. So, so far, I think uh, we are at, let's see. We go from 77 to 89 in that run. So that's around 13 from this place alone. Uh, sometimes you're able to get 20. 
sometimes it depends on the like i guess the map really see if we missed on some so we got 14 from that run i think if i'm correct we're gonna hop onto my other server and then i'll be right back all right guys we are back and it looks like again we have sacred land so i guess all servers are synchronized now i forgot i think they actually did say something about that with corruptions so it's actually good now and i just gained two on multiple one of those that's actually crazy hold up that's already like off of these alone guys i've gotten like so much already that's like 10 plus right there uh let's actually see what i'm at right now i went from 89 to 104 so yeah guys it's actually crazy how much you get in just simple runs so far i've already in just one uh i guess corruption event we could say i've made around 50 and halfway enough already just to get what is it called one transfer over on a seeker weapon keep keep in mind that's for seeker weapons not even if you're trying to transfer them onto uh weaker uh rarities which wouldn't be the smartest because honestly it's best to put your best thing on a secret weapon and yeah i think that's all of these mobs luckily we were able to you know go through these guys pretty fast we ended off on 114 we went from 89 to 114 guys and this is off just what public server and two private servers so think about having a third one think about having a fourth one all that guys it's really op method i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe if it you know felt helpful and the update is tomorrow i think so i can't wait to make more content for you guys uh, i do have a game in the works so guys so quickly if you guys care to listen uh, this game is going to be basically based off of a mobile game that most of us have played as kids. Sort of a mixture of Dragon City with Monster Legends. We will be having tons of features which I will be um, talking about inside of the server once we think we're close enough to where the game will be released for testing which we have pick testers. We have some sneak peeks of the dragons, which is also shown in the Discord. So if you guys want to go check that out, go down below in the description. Go follow the Twitter as well, down below in the description. We will be having giveaways going on. We've already done two giveaways. So till then, guys, peace out. Hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.